you know, girls are grown up in this world where Barbie is the ideal body size. I've always been like a bigger girl. I've, I've never been like, like just my jeans or just, you know, I'm built differently. And, um, you know, I've just been made fun of and I've been like been bullied all my life for that. For me, I would look at like maybe a TV ad or um, like a magazine and I would just, I would do the compare game again. So she has this body, but I don't. During the summer, going into 11th grade, I um, stopped eating and I lost 13 pounds because I was so nervous. I, I would just cry myself to sleep every night. Just, I just, I was so anxious about going to school. I did not want to go to school. I did not want to face them. And, and yeah, I was, I was suicidal. I was just like, I didn't want to live anymore. And, you know, if I'm, and I like feel if I'm not good looking, then I'm worthless. If, if I don't look this certain way, I don't like, I'm not, I don't mean anything to anybody because I'm not pretty or I'm not skinny or whatever. I started not eating anymore and I would count every calorie I ate on my phone. Every, I'd have this calorie counter and everything I ate, I would put in the number. I'd look on the back and like if I ate half of the bag, I would divide it by two and like put it in. And then if I went over like 1200, which isn't even, even very many, then I'd freak out and I didn't ever exercise. I just stopped eating completely. And I remember I was obsessed with with losing the weight and every pound I lost I would be so excited and then I would come home and start bawling my eyes out start crying and I couldn't control it it wasn't me it was my mind kind of taking over saying I wasn't good enough and I tried to drown myself because I thought that I wasn't good enough at all and then some force brought me back up and I'm still th praying to this day of like what that force was. So with my dad, when he was saying, oh, you're kind of fat, if you eat that, you're going to be fat, I was believing that. Um, yeah, so that's like pretty hard when like the people you love um, kind of say negative things to you. And then like, I, I like believed it too. To be likable in our society is kind of like be skinny, be pretty, and have like hang out with the right people, I guess. You know, there's the magazines that tell you like, oh, this is this is what's in, and dress this way, look this way, and I mean, it's just constantly surrounding you. And just when people start adhering to that, when, and you don't, you are ostracized for that, and you're you know you're excluded. It doesn't allow for any individuality or being unique. It, it's this cookie cutter that you're forced into, and that it's just it doesn't add anything to life because everybody is the same and and what's what's like special in that you know I think definitely because it's like you know you see people in magazines and they always look so perfectly and they're airbrushed whatever you know and everyone's like no they photoshopped that okay but I still want to look like that you know I would do the fake it till you make it so I'd say like I'm beautiful I'm like just saying like you are something it makes you more confident like oh, you're sexy in the mirror every morning. Like, I would say that, and I would, I, like, I just, like, after a while. Like, it would be stupid at first. Like, this is so stupid. I don't even believe this. Like, I, don't, I have, like, no confidence, but, like, now I do. Um, if you learn how to just accept the way you look instead of comparing yourself to others, maybe, like, other people in magazines, then you would learn that you're just beautiful the way you are. You don't need to change yourself for anyone. It's when, like... Realistically, it would be impossible to have Bar Barbie's body. When I combined it, be you and beautiful together, I think it sends a positive message. It definitely does make sense. Being you is beautiful. It's so cool. Be you, Tiffle, like be you. So there's kind of like two meanings, like beautiful as in like your looks and like your inner beauty and be like be yourself, like be you because that's like who you are. I, I've been able to kind of feel better about myself, wearing less makeup and feeling feeling more myself rather than someone with all this stuff on my face. And sometimes I'm just like, beauty doesn't, or looks don't matter. Like, there's so much more that's important, you know, than, than just, you know, how your genes collided to make your, your appearance. This body image, pro it's never gonna go away. We'll always have it. There's always gonna be media. Technology is advancing like crazy. So I think it's just, it comes from the individual and it starts with one person, it just like dominoes from there.